Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, Allie here. If you're new to my channel, hello, how you doing? If you're not, then welcome back. Um, and if you're new, hit that subscribe button down below. Use it, abuse it, before you lose it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm super weird, but I'm excited because I have this makeup look going up for you guys today. It is one I've been rocking all the time to work and it's super easy super simple I think I did it in like I want to say 10 minutes because I woke up super late for my smashbox training yesterday was that yesterday yeah it was yesterday it was a long day okay 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 so yeah I woke up super late for my smashbox training yesterday and I did this look and I've been doing it all the time when I'm in a pinch and I want to look slayed but I don't want to take too much time you know what I mean you know what I mean catching my drift yeah you smell I'm stepping in oh anyway if you're interested in seeing how I achieved this peach smoky slayed look that I've been wearing non-stop then please keep on watching all right so let's jump right into this tutorial first things first we're going to prime our eyes and I'm using LA girls concealer in pure beige and we're going to take this on our lids and bring it up to our brow bone this is going to serve as our primer as well as get rid of any discoloration you may have on your lids I have very pigmented eyelids so this is a very important step to have a nice bows and then yes you're nice and done today we are going to be using Too Faced sweet peach palette I had to smell it because you know I'm extra and then I'm taking a big fluffy brush and going into the shades just peachy and candied peach and focusing this above my crease going slightly into my crease as I am blending and you're blending this upwards in a swiping motion like so and this is going to serve as our transition shade for the rest of our shadows using a flat shader we are going into the shade called luscious and I'm going to be placing this all over my lids kind of carving my lids out and yes this is a very pigmented shadow I love it I did not like the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette when I first got it but after playing with it I've been obsessed and I've been doing this look almost every single day so place it on your lid and bring it out and kind of cut that lid out like so all right then we are going to go into charmed I'm sure sorry I had to say it like that it always makes me think of like English people charmed I'm sure yeah yeah <laughs> forget that we're going to take a pencil brush and take charmed I'm sure and go above the shade luscious and define that crease now it is not our crease it is directly above it this is not a cut crease though it is a very soft and easy look then I'm taking the shade puree I'm going to further define that line directly above luscious kind of creating our own little crease to make the eyes appear a little bit larger and then we're going to drag that shade puree on our lash line then going back into our transition shades, I'm taking the shades Just Peachy and Candied Peach again and blending everything out. And to make everything nice and seamless, I decided to go into Peaches and Cream and further blend that shadow on a big fluffy brush like so. Then I'm going into the shade called Bellini on a flat shader and I'm going on the outermost part of my eye and blending that on in to luscious so the two shades on your lid are now luscious and bellini and then now it's time to move on to brows now i needed to tame these bad boys down um so i'm going into my stars gel liner in um brown it's star with two r's and i am going to fill my brows in the way I normally do. I flip the brush over when I do the front part of my brow so it's a little bit softer and then fill it in normally toward the end of my brow and my brows are on. Using NYC's liquid liner in black, I'm going to draw my wing. I didn't wanna go for too dramatic of a wing. Um, the way I normally do my wings and as you can see here, I draw a line on either side of my eye my little wing and then I go from the innermost part of my eye to the outermost part of my eye and I connect it together and fill it in so connect the dots and that is what I'm doing on the other eye I've already drawn the wings on both sides I'm just going from the innermost to the outer part of my eye and connecting that line like so and then wherever I see any gaps I'll go ahead and fill 
in with that liquid liner. Then again, just perfecting everything. I am going to put lashes on, so that's one reason why I love wing liner is it helps conceal that lash and make it look a little more natural. All right, and then going into my inner part and wing, putting a little bit of my wing there. All right, this is my favorite primer lately. This is the new Optical Illusion Primer by Urban Decay. It is amazing for filling in the pores and providing basically a second layer of skin. It's thick, but it goes to a silk almost when you blend it out. And I'm using it for that purpose under my eyes and in my smile lines to fill in any lines and give me that nice, silky smooth surface. I can't say enough about this product. I've been obsessed with it and everybody I've used it on has loved it. So yes, love it. All right, and then I'm going into another product that I've been loving lately. And this is IT Cosmetics New Confidence in a Compact Cream Foundation. Now it's a solid serum foundation, meaning it goes on solid. It applies like a cream, but it sets like a liquid. And I've been loving this because it is catered to drier skin type and y'all, super Sahara desert dry skin and it is also catered to aging skin. I've used this on normal skin clients as well and they love it. Now for combo to oily, I don't know if you'd like this product as much. I haven't used it because I haven't recommended it based off the fact that it's more catered to drier skin types. But if you're a dry skin girl, you will love this product. It goes on really nice and smooth. It doesn't adhere to dry patches and it gives a nice full coverage with a dewy finish, but not too dewy. It's more of like a satin finish and it's really hydrating. It's got that confidence in a cream infused into it. So I've been loving it lately and that's what I'm doing. Just going all over my face and blending it into my neck like so. And I am in the shade tan. I said all that rant and I didn't even tell you what shade I was. All right, using LA Girls Concealer in Pure Beige, I'm drawing an upside down triangle under my eyes and I'm going to use this to conceal my dark circles. So we're just going to go in a triangle and then I'm going to be blending this out with my damp Real Technique sponge that I have already prepped. And I'm gonna be grabbing it any second out. Bam, there we go. And I'm going to pat that product in. You wanna pat when working with beauty blenders instead of swiping because that will remove the product and this will just set it and put it, kind of sink it into your skin. So that is what I'm doing here, just patting that in to my face like so. All right, and then next I'm going to be highlighting. I didn't go for too light of a concealer because I knew I was going to highlight with banana powder and the new banana powder that I'm using by Makeup Revolution is already pretty pigmented on its own. So once I've already dabbed my face with the Beauty Blender, I am taking this powder and it looks just like the Buttercup powder as you will see here. And if you've already watched my video, you've already seen me talk about the price differentials and all that and my thoughts. I've been loving it lately, especially for under the eyes on a day-to-day -day basis. I just do it under my eyes, but for this video, I wanted to bake my face. So I am going under my eyes with this product. I also decided to go down the bridge of my nose and under my contour, where my contour would lie. When you do this, it kind of almost looks like you already have contour on. It's like reverse contouring by highlighting. As you can see, it kind of just defines your cheekbones. And it also helps you know exactly where you have to place your contour. Not have to, but where it's ideal for you to place your contour. All right, and then take taking um, Tarte's Dual Ended Contour Brush. I'm going into my Blush Bronzer Duo by e.l.f. in the shade St. Lucia, and I'm taking that contour shade, and I'm using the more densely packed side of this Tarte Contour Brush, and I am drawing onto my cheekbones, down the sides of my nose, and then I'm going to bring it up to my temples as well. I hit um, under my chin, but not as much as I used to because I already have a really defined chin. And I didn't, I realized um, when watching back on videos that every time I would touch my chin, it would look a little much. So that's what I'm doing here. Just draw three on your face. It's the easiest way to remember how to do the contour down the temples, down the cheekbones, and then down your chin. But like I said, I'm kind of skipping the chin right now because it's already pretty defined and I don't want to look too harsh. All right, now I'm going into my Dior mascara, the Dior Show mascara in black, and I am prepping my 
lashes for falsies and for my falsies I'm going to use the same falsies I always use which are my Christina number 43s these are my daily lashes they're super easy to apply super long fluttery but they're not too much I have people asking me all the time whether they're my real lashes or not which is pretty crazy because they're super 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 long <laughs> all right and then as usual I'm gonna be using weave glue I don't recommend weave glue for everybody but for me I love it because I know how to take it off. I use cold cream and I make sure to wiggle at the baseline when I'm taking it off so I don't harm my natural lashes. But I love it, it lasts all day and that's what I'm using. And again, I'm using Christina number 43 lashes on today and pretty much every day. That's like my go-to lash, HD for show. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and using that same flat top kabuki brush I used to put on my It's Confidence in a Compact, I'm going to brush away that bake like so. So just go ahead and brush off all that banana powder. And that's what I'm doing. All right, and now we are ready to move on to lips. For lips, I'm using Wet n Wild's Brown Liner, and I'm going to go ahead and carve out my brows. I, uh, brows, carve out my lips. I always prefer to do a darker lip liner when I'm working with a nude lip. I feel like it just um, is a little bit more flattering on darker and tan skin tones, and I also find like it that it adds more definition to the lip when you do a darker lip liner and a lighter lip, so that's what I always do. So doing that, and then I'm taking the shade Tool by Ellie Girl, and I'm taking the shade Nude by Absolute New York, and that's their lip paint, and I'm painting it directly over Tool to create my own nude, still bright pink shade. And I'm going to define that further using Wet n Wild's brown liner because I wanted to give myself a little bit more of a pout and give myself the appearance of fuller lips. So that's what I'm doing here, just going over that line and making it more defined. Then lastly, I'm going to be taking the shade Delectable on a pencil brush and I'm going on the outer part on my lash line just defining that line because I wanted to skip liner today. Then this has been my go-to highlighter and is actually from Makeup Revolution's Chocolate Bar palette, the golden bar one. And I am taking the shade Chocolate Tear. It's the lower highlight shade and I am going down the bridge of my nose, top of my cheekbones, top of my brows and above my lips and I've been using this every single day as my highlight. It is super bright and I love it because I always go extra with the highlighter because I'm obsessed. I'm just so obsessed <laughs> with highlighter. It's, it's a problem for sure. Anybody who knows me knows I'm obsessed with highlighter. And there you have that. Then I'm going to go on to my lower lashes with Dior Show Mascara. And last but certainly not least, we wanna set our faces so it does not move all day. And we are using Urban Decay's All Nighter Setting Spray. And there you go, there you guys have it. This is my go-to slay all day, every day spring makeup tutorial. And that is it, that was my go-to slayed peach smoky eye look. I don't know why I'm doing this. It looks like I'm trying to Vogue, but I don't know what Vogue is, so instead I'm just chopping my neck off. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you guys so much for watching this makeup tutorial. If you enjoyed this makeup look and would like to see some more of my looks and my reviews, hit the subscribe button down below. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave me a comment down below letting me know what you thought about this video and what you would like to see next. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love y'all. Bye.